We're standing today at our Chapaton pump station, which is in St. Clair Shores, located at the foot of Nine Mile uh, on Jefferson. And uh, this is our major retention basin pump station. And as some of you might recall, with all the uh, heavy, heavy rains that we had starting at the end of June, we had a number of different uh, heavy, heavy rains uh, in the Detroit area and hit us as well, uh, where there was flooding that happened right in the uh, city of Detroit. And then it uh, backed up and flooded uh, many, many residences in the Gross Points. And then it came to us. We're at the up end, uh, upstream end of this pipe that runs down Jefferson, runs down to Connor Creek in, in Detroit. And uh, because they were offline and they had some electrical problems and some pump problems, uh, we had to do what we had to do here. And uh, what we did actually uh, by using our emergency bypass uh, and some of the other things that our, our crew was doing here. We literally saved thousands of basements from flooding in the city of St. Clair Shores and possibly up and through East Point because then the pipe runs up, you know, nine mile road here. But at any rate, I've been a bit critical of the Great Lakes Water Authority about them not being proactive and inspecting and having uh, things done uh, and being prepared. And uh, you know, when, you, when you're critical, you better make sure you're taking care of your own backyard. So that's what we've been doing here now. Uh, this week we've been uh, having our big pumps inspected and going through all the plans. And uh, I'm, there's, we have three enormous pumps here in this uh, Chapaton station. And uh, so, you know, uh, our pumps are being inspected. Uh, all of the pumps, every one of them, uh, has had a uh, very thorough inspection now of our three pumps, uh, everything. And uh, I mean, as much as even just changing oil, which sounds like an easy thing, but when you change the oil, you got to send it out for uh, testing in the lab to make sure that there aren't any metal shavings or anything, which would be indicative of some issues. Uh, in each one of these pumps, there's a shaft that goes down through the pump, in the middle of the pump, down to a wet well area, uh, which is about 50 feet from where I'm standing, another 50 feet underground, uh, and then it. It, uh, there's a huge uh, propellers, impellers at the bottom, which uh, bring up the flow, uh, and then it is discharged into a, a 30 million gallon retention basin uh, that we have uh, right here at Chapaton. And you know, the idea here, of course, these are old uh, neighborhoods where you have a combined sanitary sewer, uh, and then the storm water and a heavy rain event. It's all combined, so we have to make sure that it is treated properly uh, to state permitting standards uh, before we discharge it out into the lake. Uh, but the reason I'm, I'm doing this video today is because I want to stress how important it is to inspect these pumps. Now, no surprise, because all of our three pumps were running continuously during these heavy rain events. In fact, all the alarms were going off, right? Because they were overheating. Uh, the building was shaking. Uh, we had so much rain and so much activity happening here, but we did not flood anybody's basement because of what happened at the Chapaton Station. As I say, could have had uh, 3,000 easy, easy 3,000 basements that would have flooded. So uh, hats off to our great crew here. But we have found some issues. Uh, not in front of this pipe uh, pump that I'm standing at. This one's good. Our other pump here, we found an issue and we're already starting to talk about what would it take to uh, fix it, to rebuild that pump, et cetera. Nothing critical that's going to happen here immediately, but you know, you have to identify, that's why you do inspections. You find out different issues, and then you have to make a capital improvements plan uh, and prioritize the work, cost it all out, try to figure out what you need to do here to make sure that you're being proactive with all of your equipment. Uh, one of the things that we'll, we are uh, undertaking right now, we're in the design phase, for an alternative pump station right next to the building here. So we're gonna build actually another pump station. And the reason we wanna do that and take it outside the building, we wanna have it on a separate feed uh, so you have redundancy. In other words, if one of these, uh, you know, if we have an issue with one of these pumps or whatever, that we have an alternative uh, redundancy ready, ready. And so uh, the, this pump station was built in 1968. A lot has happened then, right? Things become antiquated and uh, growth, et cetera. The world has changed since 1968. So we need to be prepared for not just for today, but as we go generationally into the future. 
So that is uh, really what we've been doing is comprehensive inspection. We do inspection on all of our assets. Today I'm just talking about Chapaton, but I've talked to you before about how we've had the largest inspection program in Macomb County history with all of our uh, infrastructure, our interceptors, uh, on and on. And of course, we're doing inspections as well with all of our storm drains, et cetera. But today, we're focusing on Chapaton. So let me take you over here and show you one other part of the inspection program as well. So part of the inspection, besides inspecting our pumps to make sure that the uh, pumps and the propellers and the shafts and everything else is working optimally in our pumps, is obviously what drives the pumps? Electricity. So these are quite complicated uh, electrical uh, panels here. And uh, that has been part of our focus, is really taking a look at the electrical. And uh, no surprise, we actually have found a couple of things. So uh, I don't need to go into all these details because we're going to fix it. Because that's what we're going to do. We're going to fix it, we find them, we fix them. Uh, but being very proactive uh, is going to uh, make sure that we don't have an issue uh, when we need to run these pumps, right? When we do have a heavy rain event and, uh, you, you know, you're not scrambling for, for whatever. And uh, as well as that, making sure that you have redundancy and backup uh, power is, a, is an important component in our business. And uh, you can see what happens. I mean, just look along uh, the expressways, right, in southeast Michigan. For whatever reason, MDOT apparently does not have redundancy or backup power generations and people driving into a flooded expressway. Not good, <laughs> not good. So let's think about making sure that the electrical works, uh, that you have redundancy uh, when there is a, uh, a storm or what have you. And uh, listen, some of the rain events that we've had this, uh, this summer have been uh, unbelievable amounts of rain, right? Let's just acknowledge that, unbelievable amounts of rain. And whether it's climate change or whatever is happening, we're having a lot more rain and the intensity of those storms uh, no infrastructure is built for that. But you got to do the best you can with what you have and then try to be proactive about getting ready uh, for the future as well. So that's what we're doing today. And uh, this week, really, we've had, as I say, a comprehensive inspection program on our pumps, including all of our electrical here. So we're, uh, we're doing what we think we need to do.